Hello my friends, are you ready for the ultimate turkey giblet gravy recipe? Well get ready, in this recipe I will show you how to make a giblet gravy that will be so delicious that you may just want to have a bowl of it and skip the turkey dinner altogether. This turkey giblet gravy is rich, it's creamy, it's filled with delightful chunks of goodness. Hello my friends and welcome to the sauce and gravy channel. Today we're going to dive into a delicious turkey giblet gravy. Buckle up, let's go! Okay my friends, so we're going to dive into this turkey giblet gravy. This is a three step process. For the first step, we're going to deal with the giblets. So we're going to go ahead and take them out of the turkey. A lot of times people, whenever they look at the turkey after they've cooked it, they look inside and they say, oh my god, my turkey had a baby and I cooked it. No, those are the giblets. So the giblets are inside. So the neck was in the internal cavity of the back. Now in the front, in the neck area, usually you have a little packet like this that contains the heart, the liver, and the gizzard. For our first step, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove all of our giblets. So go ahead and cut open the bag. We're gonna take out the gizzard first. Uh, if we can get them out of there, come on, there we go. Okay, so there's the gizzard. Sometimes the gizzard has some hard parts or some things that you might need to cut off, so it's a good idea to kind of look at it before you throw it into the old saucepan. So give it a once over, throw it on in. And then now we're gonna get out the heart and the liver. So we're gonna get those guys out and get them ready to go. Okay, so the small one here, that is the heart. The big one here, that one is the liver. We're gonna go ahead and put our heart into the stock pot to simmer down. The liver is gonna go into the refrigerator. We're gonna put that in 30 minutes before we're done. And then we're gonna go ahead and throw in some aromatics and some wonderful vegetables to add some flavor. So we're first gonna throw in some parsley. And then we're gonna throw in two cloves of garlic. I like to smash the garlic so it releases its wonderful flavors. And then five leaves of sage. Next, we're gonna go ahead and throw in some fresh thyme, four sprigs of fresh thyme. Now, all these aromatics are just gonna bring out so much flavor. And this is the celery leaves. So the tips of the celery that have the leaves, throw it in. Then we have a bay leaf, it goes in as well. A nice carrot, you really just have to clean the carrot. You don't have to peel it, just chop it up a little bit, throw it on in, and then an onion. Half of an onion, put it on into the mix. Now we're gonna use a stock here, so we're gonna use turkey stock for this recipe. You could use a vegetable stock, a chicken stock, or you could use water, it's just up to you. But I like to use turkey stock for the turkey giblets gravy, it just adds so much flavor. To spice up this stock, you can really use any sort of vegetables or aromatics that you wanna use. You could even use some chicken wings that you saved up and stored in the freezer that you didn't use for any sort of meal. You could throw in any sort of chicken bones, just you name it. You can make this to taste, it's just however you want to do it. It just really adds a lot of flavor and it's delicious. Alright, so our wonderful giblet stock, it's ready to go. So we'll go ahead and take it on around, put it on the burner. We're going to open up that flame. You're gonna cook this over medium heat. Once you see the mixture coming to a simmer, you'll wanna turn it down. You're really just trying to poach the giblets. You're also reducing the stock down. It's gonna cook for roughly an hour and a half to two hours. In 30 minutes before this is done, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna throw that liver that we have in the refrigerator into it to let it cook totally as well. But all right, my friends, so now it's time for step number two. We're gonna start the roux while our stock is uh, simmering with our giblets and while the turkey's in the oven, we'll do the roux. We'll put the roux to the side and at the end, we'll start to warm it up a little bit so we can combine everything together. So two tablespoons of butter, in they go into the saucepan. We're gonna melt them down. Now that the butter's all melted down, we're gonna go ahead and throw in two tablespoons of flour. Throw it on in, give it a little bit of a mix. Give it a little bit of a stir. We're gonna cook it until it's blonde. If your burner's up a little bit too high, go ahead and turn it down. You definitely don't wanna burn the flour. We're going for a blonde roux here. So we're not going for a white roux. We're not going for a brown roux. We don't wanna make it too brown. Uh, we're going for blonde. We wanna have a little bit of a nutty flavor, but not too terribly much. We don't want to overpower it. So we're going for a blonde. So We've got the burner turned down to low. We're slowly cooking this until it's a blonde, nice blonde color, which you can start to see it turning right now. So that concludes step number two of this process. So we've got the roux completed. You can go ahead and put it to the side. All right, so now we're gonna head back to the stock. It's been simmering nicely, just poaching those wonderful giblets. It's been about an hour and a half now, so we've reduced it down. It's been an hour and a half. I'm gonna cook this two hours, so there's 30 minutes left, and now I'm gonna put in that liver. You don't wanna overcook the liver. 
If you do, it might be a little bit dry, so just cook it 30 minutes and that should do it. It's been the full two hours and as you can see our giblets are fully cooked and this is reduced nicely. So we're going to take out the giblets, put them on the side, put them on a cutting board. You're going to want to cool them off because you have to pick out that meat from the neck. You're going to have to chop up the giblets. So let them cool off. So just go ahead and put them out to the side for a moment. You're definitely going to use this stock. It's so packed full of flavor. That reduction of, of the turkey stock with all of these wonderful giblets and all the aromatics and the vegetables. So we're going to definitely use this stock. So grab a, a mixing bowl and a fine sieve or something to strain it with. We're going to go ahead and we're going to pick all these giblets out. Once you've got those out, then it's time to go ahead and remove all the big chunky items. And then we're going to strain it all out. This is definitely packed full of flavor and you're going to want this in your sauce. Now by slowly reducing this down for roughly about two hours, we're ending up with a little over one cup of liquid here. Here we go, go ahead and pour that lovely stock into the old uh, mixing bowl. Make sure to use that fine sieve, get all those chunks out. Look at that, look at all that flavor just going in there, fantastic. Now it's a good idea to grab a spoon or something of that nature and give all of the items in the fine sieve a little stir. You want to get all that liquid in. You want to get it all into that mixing bowl. Give it a little tap. Just make sure that you get all those drops in. Every last drop counts. Check it out. That's roughly about a cup of delicious flavor right there, folks. Delicious. All right, next up the batter are the giblets. You're going to want to take that turkey neck, pull off all the meat. And you have two eggs in the giblets as well, so go ahead and grab two eggs and boom, chop them up. You can chop these guys as fine as you like. You can keep them chunky. You can make them nice and fine if you wish. It's really just taster's choice and how you like it. Now it's part number three or step number three of this process. Go ahead and grab that bad boy bird. Take it out of the oven. Check it out. Roasted nice and fine on the roaster. All of the drippings, they've come down to the bottom of the pan. I like to put some carrots, I like to put some celery, some onions, some herbs, I've got some sage in there, I've got a bay leaf uh, to give it a little flavor. But you're going to go ahead and remove all of these big chunks of uh, vegetables and herbs and such, go ahead and take them on out. Now the pan is hot so we do have a lot of residual heat. I do have one burner on low though. We're going to put in 3 4 cups of water. What we're really going to do here is we really just want to scrape the bottom of the pan. We want to incorporate all those wonderful drippings, those pan drippings into the liquid so that we can get all that flavor into our sauce. Alright, so this is looking great. All of the wonderful drippings are incorporated into the liquid. We're going to go ahead and strain it out. I'm going to strain it out into a, uh, a fat remover or a grease separator or a fat separator. This little device is fantastic. It just keeps that fat from getting into your wonderful sauce. It's always a good idea to take a spoon and kind of scrape around in there and get all those wonderful flavors out. Give it a little tap. Make sure that you get, of course, every little last drop. So check it out y'all, this is absolutely delicious looking, looks fantastic, look at that beautiful color. It's always a good idea to give it a little taste, you want to check it out, you don't want to dump it into your sauce if it doesn't taste good, so give it a little taste and make sure it tastes good, and as you can see it's roughly about one cup. Alright, so that's the last step in our three step process, so now we can throw everything together. Go ahead and grab that roux, put it on a burner, medium heat. Then you're going to go ahead and you're going to get that reduced giblet stock. You're going to go ahead and throw it into the fat or grease separator along with the, uh, the turkey drippings. Get it all together. And as you can see, it's, it's really it's about two cups of liquid, two cups of the cooking liquid. So a cup of the, of the stock that was reduced and a cup of pan drippings. Now again, we've got this roux over the medium heat. Give it a little bit of a stir. And then we're going to go ahead and incorporate everything in together. So grab that uh, grease separator. As you can see, it has the little spout. Carefully pour it into that roux. And then what will happen is all of the wonderful stock will come out of the bottom of that little spigot. And you'll watch that, that grease. You can see it, the little bit of a, a whitish layer. As soon as that grease starts to come up and come out, bam, you're done. You don't want that grease in there. That's fantastic. It keeps that sauce nice and tasty, a little bit less greasy. So a little less heartburn for all, of course. If you don't have one of these fat or grease separators, I definitely suggest you go out and grab one. These things just make the gravy just taste so, so much better. Okay, grab that whisk, stick it on in, scrape the sides, scrape the bottom. You're going to want to incorporate that roux mixture into the sauce and make sure it's all in there nice and fine. And we're over a medium heat, folks. 
It's also a good idea to grab a spoon. You can usually get that roux off a little bit easier with a spoon. So grab that spoon, give it a little twirl. And as always, my friends, it's always a good idea to have a neat, nice sauce. You're going to want to skin the top of that sauce or that gravy. Make sure that you get all of that foam, all of those impurities. Get them all out of there. Go ahead and scrape it around. Get rid of it. Make it nice and neat. Put this down for roughly about 10 minutes on medium heat. And then you're going to add another dimension to this gravy. You're going to add a little bit of heavy cream. So half of a cup of a heavy cream. Throw it on in. Mix it up, make sure that it's well incorporated. This is just gonna add a lovely flavor to this gravy. It's gonna make it nice and creamy. Now my friends, the moment you've all been waiting for, it's time to add the stars of the show, the giblets. So first goes in the heart, bam, in you go. Go on in, then you've got the gizzard, fantastic. Then you've got the wonderful neck meat from the turkey neck, fantastic, throw it on in. And then the liver, throw in the liver, fantastic, look at that. And finally, the hard boiled eggs, two hard boiled eggs, in they go. Check it out folks. This, my friends, is a gravy, but it could be a meal. If you wanted to just have this for Thanksgiving, then my goodness, you could. This is absolutely fantastic. We'll reduce this down for roughly about 10 minutes and check it out y'all, fantastic gravy coats the back of the spoon. It's absolutely delicious. Make sure you do give it a taste. You have to season it appropriately. Adjust the salt and pepper, and voila, you're ready to go. Thanks for watching, my friends. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Please do leave your comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And if you like sauces and gravies, whether they be deliciously savory or fantastically sweet, go ahead and do hit that subscribe button. There are more sauces and gravies to come. And remember to live, love, and my friends, make gravy.